Well, definitely it's a hot button issue here. I would say uh, anxiety seems to be off the charts. Anything, any news article that's been posted about it, there's, uh, you know, I've seen over 100 comments per article. The locks are now off and the gates are open here at Loose Bay Campground just north of Oliver. Fruit pickers will soon be arriving. They've got work to do at the farms. The farmers will tell you they are an essential service. They're important for farmers and, and the campground's important for the whole community. This way we have some control over them too. Eh? Uh, we, we can educate them on COVID-19. They're not drifting around all over the valley because because whether we had this campground or not, they'd still be here. And if we close the campground, it's gonna, it's gonna present worse problems. So I think it's a good thing to have. Many of the transit workers will be coming from Quebec, which has the most COVID-19 deaths in Canada. Loose Bay Campground offers them a place to live. Well, so far I think people who they arrive here, they're very happy to have the place open up for them because that's what they're looking for. They're looking a place to live and uh, waiting to picking fruit. Good place for them. Uh, farmer, they come here to pick him, pick him up. It's easy for everybody. They all gather at the same place, otherwise to be everywhere. The concern centers around the high number of cases in Quebec and the potential for the transient workers creating a hotspot in the South Okanagan. And there's a lot of fear out there. And the fear is well placed. I mean, face it, this is a, a potential problem area which could have a, an outbreak. One of the big questions we have is what happens if somebody gets a symptom or gets sick? How are they going to be able to quarantine? Where are they going to quarantine? How are we going to be able to manage that? I understand Loose Bay has a section put aside sort of as a uh, isolation area, but I'm not sure that would be adequate for somebody that was tested positive for COVID-19. Oliver's mayor says Emergency Management BC has provided funding for portable washrooms, porta potties with hand wash stations, and a bylaw officer to patrol town parks. Uh, that person will work as much as an enforcement, but probably more of a parks ambassador, uh, making sure that people are maintaining their social distance. We'll use that person, and that person will be out there uh, doing some disinfecting on gates and different things like that. For Castanet News, I'm Dale Corey in Penticton. Thank you.